Hello and welcome to part 3 of me building a full scale portal to turret. I have to ap apologize for taking such a big break because I have to redesign this bad boy 50 times, not really, probably 3 to 4, maybe 5 times with many 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 test prints. It's all assembled right now, the video is going to be about me assembling this bad boy. Um, but now let's see it in action. It's at slow speed to be safe. hit so it stops expanding right in. these are there just to push this guy in for now the door will help that collapse that's just there for extra length and now it's pretty expanded there will not be much weight on this most of the weight will be on this Grab the gun housing. This guy will be in here, and most of the weight of this and the door that this holds onto will be on here. And as it pulls in, we'll be bringing in the door, and the door will collapse this one in. And finally, from here, it will slide the gun housing in until this level. So you have two gun housings. Bring the door. This is where these guys go. In. So sit back, and relax, and enjoy the assembly. I'm going to be doing some voiceover. A lot of the stuff I've pre prepared before because uh, it takes a lot of time to sand and smooth and test fit. Uh, this was it's almost a final assembly. I'm pretty sure I'll probably have to take it apart another time, but for now. The video. And what we have here is the central elements, the key box, the N17 stepper motor with the two switches, the left hand side tubings with the rack, uh, the right hand side tubings with the rack. We've got one millimeter Phillips head screws, M5 bolts, M4 screws, M2 bolts, uh, somewhat M2 screwdriver uh, screws for holding this whole thing together and the five millimeter ball bearings uh, this guy here goes into this hole to take off the switch as for tools standard stuff everything required to put this together plus a lighter which we will get into shortly all right let's move on so I start by placing the 5mm ball bearings, uh, the grooves that I've uh, pre-prepared and uh, sanded or filed away with the tiny files and cap them off with uh, the four, uh, the four 1mm screws. Here uh, I would possibly redesign this in the future so it has male female parts which clips in and uh, possibly use glue but for now it's just a prototype and we'll see how it goes. So here I've placed four 5mm ball bearings inside the cap of the secondary tube. These will act as a guide for the outer arm to move through. Uh, also held in place with 1mm Phillips head screws. I will be redesigning this to have a male female part again um, as it will probably uh, help with the weight. Here I'm just test fitting them. Uh, you'll notice here that I've labeled these parts are up. Uh, so I know which way to, they go as well as uh, in respect to each other how they should sit and there you go here same deal uh, this is the larger cap um, here I'm just showing you that the first two ball bearings sit fine but the last two actually fall out um, 
easy fix for this is the magic lighter. So here you just heat up the plastic, warm it up a tiny bit, and you use a screwdriver, or in this case the file, and just uh, encapsulate it a bit with the um, malleable plastic. This will ensure that the ball bearing is not going to go anywhere, even if you hold it upside down. Now, although only two of the ball bearings fell out, I decided to do it for all four. That way, um, when I'm installing this and placing it upside down, uh, no ball bearings fall out. What you'll notice here that's different than the other tube uh, cap is the four pieces that protrude out. These, this was redesigned the night before and printed overnight uh, before the video was recorded. Uh, mainly because I felt like there's going to be too much force sitting on the end of this tube uh, and too much for the tiny screws to hold on even if I decide to glue it later on so I figured why not have a male female part that clip in and you'll see how um, that could affect um, the assembly as well as uh, load um, over here I'm just test fitting the tubes make sure but they, they clip in nicely and then finally screwing them, screwing them in with the one millimeter flip set screws if it's final again I'll be gluing these in together but uh, for now I would like to retrieve the ball bearings and should I need to sand anything I can do that Over here I'm just test assembling all three pieces to ensure they are all smooth. Just looking at the label to know which direction I should be facing it. And after guiding it through the cap, it should slip straight through.
Over here we have the switches. They are there so that when the arms are fully extended, they cut the circuitry or notify the Arduino board that um, the arms are fully opened. And uh, the same thing for when the arms are fully closed. So we have to be very careful to insert both racks at the same time. Uh, that way uh, I'm ensuring that one side is not protruding more than the other or open or closed more than the other. So before final assembly, I just lubricate the ball bearings with silicon grease. Um, as far as I know, this is a not too bad for metal on plastic applications, but correct me. So what I'm placing here is the stopper that will prevent this tube from getting any closer to the switches as well as falling uh, inside the master tube. As you'll see here, as I pushed it closer, it does not move any further in. Now, as I place this master tube, you'll notice the secondary tube protrudes about a millimeter, millimeter or two uh, which is great 
and that stop is preventing it from going in any further. As you can imagine, if that goes in any further, or both of them going any further, once the uh, turret expands, uh, it's going to break the caps and we'll have a catastrophic failure. Here, just doing the final touches, last bolts for this element, and we'll soon see it in action again. So, as you can see, it is a bit jerky when I open and close these arms. Now, that is due to corrosion on this bigger motor. Uh, before I, this, I had a smaller motor that was very smooth and higher quality and was very smooth to open and close. Um, but uh, because I wanted more torque and more power, I decided to just use uh, this bigger motor that I had lying around. Over here I connect the motor to the Arduino and the joystick to test that out. It's currently running at a slow speed just to be safe so nothing breaks. Uh, it will have to be about six times faster for it to open up uh, anything close to the speed of the game. So currently I am reprinting the gun housing and the bracket as I have redesigned them to work with ball bearings just like this part uh, and I do have to apologize this took so long but I have been working on this non, uh, on and off as well as moving houses uh, it did take uh, many many tries and many iterations to get to this point and I do believe this is final that is all for this video I hope you've enjoyed it Thank you so much for your support and and for the 500 subscribers. Uh, I do plan on doing maybe a giveaway on a thousand subscribers, perhaps a small uh, desk sized uh, solid printed uh, portal turret maybe. Um, do leave a comment letting me know what you would like to see in the future. Uh, subscribe if you haven't and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Also, please be safe and do isolate. Thank you very much and goodbye.